Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. It is your girl or your sister, Kish Kim. I am here with a minute motivation that the Lord placed on my heart this morning. I'm getting ready to go to the gym and get my physical exercise on. I've already been to the spiritual gym this morning. I woke up, I prayed, I did my devotion, and I will continue to pursue God during this day. I am not perfect, but I have a willing and obedient heart. That brings me to the word for today, obedience. The scripture comes from 1 Samuel 15, 22. Does the Lord delight in our burnt offerings as much as he does in our obedience? My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I gave an example in this month's Bible study. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. It's called Surrendering to God. I um, discussed how if God told us to apologize to a particular person, but instead we go and sow a financial seed instead of apologizing to a person, then um, are we being obedient? And I said, no, I said that is disobedience because God didn't ask us to sow the seed. He asked us to apologize to a particular person. Now, this is an example. Now, the Lord brought to my remembrance that that apology can be the the um the chain breaker for someone who is in bondage in bondage to satan you don't know what that apology can do for that person that apology can open up some new doors for that person to come into communion with christ you have no idea and sometimes god is challenging us um to do these things because he wants other people to come into communion with him. He is trying to get all of his children, even the ones that don't know yet that they are his children, to be in relationship with him. And by you doing this simple act, apologizing, even if it's hard to you, it's a simple act that can break chains, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Do you understand how obedience is very significant? Now, if God asks you to sow a financial seed, then you also sow that financial seed. But remember, it's not just quantity, it's quality. Where is that coming from? Is your heart pure? Is your heart submitted to God? Does your heart want to do this because you love God? Are you doing it Because you feel obligated, because you're upset, because you feel like you will be condemned if you don't do it. I'm posing food for thought, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Obedience is always better than sacrifice, even if it's very difficult. Obedience is far better than sacrifice. And that is 1 Samuel 15, 22. I hope that you are having a blessed day. I pray that not only are you being physically active, but most importantly, you are being spiritually active and you have your own personal relationship with God. And until next time, God bless you in the name of Jesus.